so in this lecture we will look at one example of how edit distance works so we will use dynamic programming to solve this problem and basically we want to find how many steps are required how many operations are required to convert zeal into trials okay so we will just look at the recursive formula it is e i comma j is minimum of e i minus 1 comma j minus 1 plus diff of i j so we will just look at all these meanings okay and then e of i minus 1 comma j plus 1 or e of i comma j minus 1 plus 1 and diff of i comma j is equal to 1 if x of i is not equal to y of j is equal to 0 if x of i is equal to y of j okay so this is there so now we will try to slowly calculate this and the table we already have constructed so we basically eij is the minimum number of operations so here the operations are i can delete a character in zeal i can add one character insert or i can replace one character okay so these are the options available so these are the and all are of equal cost so what is the cost of changing zeal to trials and basically the minimum so eij represents here the minimum edit distance for converting x 1 to i to y 1 to j where x 1 to i means the i length prefix prefix of x and y 1 to j j represents the j length prefix of y so of course now what will happen is that e of any i comma 0 what will it be e of i comma 0 means i have a length string of length i and i have to convert it to, into a string of length 0 so this will be basically equal to i similarly e of 0 comma j what will this be so i have a zero length string i have to convert it into a j length string so again there will be j insertions there so it will be j okay so the first row this row represents that i have a zero length string and i want to make this t t r t r i so this is zero if i want to convert zero length string into zero length string it will be zero if i want to convert a zero length string into string t it will require one insertion of t if i want to convert it into string tr so i will have to insert t and r so it will be of length 2 if i have to make a string tri it will be of length 3 and similarly if trials you need to insert triales so it's length 6 similarly let's look at this column which we can easily fill so that is if what will this represent so this is zero length okay so now this represents i comma zero so uh, my i is increasing and i want to make a zero length string so basically you will delete z if i want to convert it into zero length delete z one length if z d i want to delete two deletions z e i three deletions z e i l four deletions okay so z here represents z okay so z and now what happens this is done then we will see in this one let's try to see i comma j if i want to calculate what are the things i require let's try to see if i want to calculate e of so this row is 2 comma 3 so to calculate 2 comma 3 you see that we might require 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 we can find in this row we can require 1 uh, 2 comma 2 this is here 2 comma 2 okay and then diagonally this one so we require this so if you go from left to right and top to down you can work out so we will fill this matrix of size m plus 1 cross n plus 1 from top to bottom and from left to right okay so this is the way we try out and now let's see so it is already cluttered a bit but let's try out fill something i want to calculate let's 
say this one okay this is okay four and row is three so e of three comma four let's try to calculate e of three comma four so e of three so one two three and four zero one two three four so e three comma four so what will it depend upon it will be minimum so e of two comma four plus one e of three comma three plus one and e of two comma three plus diff of three comma four okay so e of two comma four is here e of two comma four is this one so it's uh, this is four plus one and let's change the color this is e three comma three is this one okay so this is two plus one e two comma three so e two comma three is this one two comma three is three plus diff of three comma four so diff of three so this is three is i a so they are different so if they are different then you will have a plus one here so three plus one so this is four this is three this is five so this one second option is the minimum so if i want to convert this basically says that if i want to convert e3 comma 4 so 3 is if i want to convert z e i to 4 so t r i a then what are the options the first option is e2 comma 4 so this means i have z e i want to convert it to t r i a okay so i will basically if i know how to convert z e into t r i a if i am able to do that i will add just i in the end okay so no so we will delete just i from here one operation is this deleting i and other is converting z e to t r i a and converting z e to t r i a takes e 2 comma 4 so 2 comma 4 this one so it requires 4 so if you just try to see from here z e t r i a nothing is matching so it will require 4 basically 4 changing so if you put it like this z e t r i a replace replace insert insert okay so 4 operations was required plus 1 so 5 will be there another way to look at this change is e3 comma 3 so i will try to convert z e i to t r i so now if you see this will require two replacements so 2 e3 comma 3 again if we see it's 2 and plus 1 for what z e i to t r i i do and in the end i will just add one a here okay then it will work for me this was the another one last one is e3 comma 4 i convert to e2 comma so i will convert it to something lesser z e and t r i how i want to convert z to t r i and then in both of them finally i will replace i with a okay so this requires again here three z e to t r i it requires three operations so it will be four cost will be four so you see that basically the cost of converting e3 comma 4 of finding we try to use the smaller sub problems to solve this problem and if you keep on filling this table from first you make this row then you, i could fill this column easily because it was trivial then i can go like this then like this this way this way then if you will fill and come here so you will get this four which will tell you that this is the how you can convert one string to another using minimum number of operations so this was the thing 
so now the next question that is going to be there is if I have this table now so how will I find what are the operations I did okay so this is your next question which you need to solve is now I have this table how will I go about changing zeal to trials okay so what can you do just look at this okay and something will be there in this step okay which was the step that was taken to convert that way we can know that okay what we were doing so here we were doing something so this one was the change that we made so something you have to look like that okay so this we will see in our next class okay and by now you must be understanding at least we can find the number of steps or operations required to convert string s1 to string s2 okay so another thing is time complexity so we have to create a table of o of m into n where m is the length of the first string n is the length of the second string and then each operation what you have to do you have to make a for loop of one of from going from one to m and another going from uh, one to n okay and then one to basically yeah so this will be again a o of m n time and then inside that you have to calculate this one so if i consider this to be a constant time okay then this will be your time complexity so i hope you understand this and like this algorithm it is asked quite a lot in your interview so thanks a lot